Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the Saturday video and this is a sponsored video. This is done by the developers behind Space Runner 2600 or 2600. I say it differently in the UK, I think in some places in the world they say 2600, um, you know like Spidey 2099, the same thing really like I would say. Space Runner 2600. In any case, this is a sponsored video. Thanks to the developer for sponsoring this video. And this is a cool little iOS game. Obviously, if you're familiar with some of these kind of games where, you know, you move about on the screen with different things happening. There's a lot of games out there like this. And obviously, this has been done by an indie developer. So obviously, congrats uh, for putting together a fantastic game. Let's check it out. Now, I have already started. I had a little go at this. It seems pretty cool. So let's uh, continue on. But I'll probably go back to doing a new game in a little while. And I'm on level two at the moment. You kind of move about by, obviously, as you can see here, just kind of like swiping around and then clicking on your particular character or your, sorry, your ship. I should be more specific, uh, obviously uh, allows you to fire and obviously you want to get as many of the uh, gems as possible that kind of drop and as well try not to hit anything which uh, sometimes I do but it's important to obviously have your reactions about you when stuff like that happens when there's um, there's there's big things in a way that's obviously the point of just kind of like avoiding that. Now there are adverts to the game if you do want to pick up some obviously some free stuff uh, that's obviously helpful like a good example here is like Oh look, there's an advert for Marvel Strike Force. It's not like that is everywhere at the moment. But look, you know, that's what you get from a free-to-play game. I think there might be a premium option to this where you're able to remove the ads. But obviously, look, games need to be developed and obviously they need to pay for running costs. So obviously that's uh, an important part to uh, any game developer. Unless you're other game developers, not knowing your own who knows, where obviously money becomes a huge factor into the way that uh, progression is done. Naming no names. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun little game to check out. And obviously you can challenge yourself each individual time to try and do better and better each time as well. Uh, oh, what's this? At the end here, you can choose things. Uh, but you also get like 10 free credits, obviously, if you uh, if you then choose to watch the advert. Now, um, what should I gra grab? I don't know what I can grab, but um, Turbo or Shield? Let's go with the Shield, because obviously I'm not, I haven't been playing too well. Uh, can I buy multiples of those then? Uh, maybe I should buy Turbo. I guess my credit. Oh, right, okay, that's my credits that I can spend. Um, I can't go any more extreme, can I? I have three credits. No, okay. Right, well, looks like I've grabbed what I need to grab from here. Oh, it's like a stopping point, like a, a little bit of a pit stop in, uh, obviously, Formula One sense. Ooh, damn it, but well, that's my bad. I was thinking I could be a little bit more sneaky and just kind of go in. But obviously, if you make a mistake, you start from the beginning as well. I thought I could do a decent enough evade there, but it's not, it's not the case. Ah, whoa. I've got like a... I'm grabbing big... Bombs. I don't know if these big bombs are being helpful or not, uh, but it looks like I'm getting like a kill streak as well with whatever I'm doing. Um, I assume that they're good. Oh right, okay. So you can grab from the bottom like shields. So that's what obviously I'm I'm doing now is I've just kind of swipe. I click down, grab the shield, so that I can then um, make sure that I don't die as I did last time so famously. Let's go for another pit stop. And uh, grab another shield with the credits that I've got. I think I've got, I've definitely got enough there. Do I not have enough? I don't have enough. Or I could watch the advert for free to obviously get the credits I need to continue on. Now you can see at the top, my credits have been replenished because I've just decided to watch an advert, and uh, that's that's good. Grab me some more uh, credits, which should be enough to buy the shield. Great. Right, let's continue on and try not to uh, to die this time because that's kind of important. I would say that if you're looking for a game that is like, it's just a nice pastime for maybe more intense games, obviously a lot of people know that, you know, on the channel I mainly cover Marvel Contest for Champions. So it's nice to have a little bit of a game break from something like that and play something that is, um, you know, a little bit less so intense. But obviously it's quite intense to challenge yourself to make sure that you are doing the correct swiping away from these uh, problems that you might face. But still, again, it's all about like having a little bit of a fun break. Uh, I've known many people that play um, different kinds of games and just to kind of like relax them. And this is one of these ones that, again, don't don't require too much of a, a 
focus point from, you know, being mind-numbing. But it's got that kind of addicting nature that games like Candy Crush and ones that, you know, have some elements to, you've got, you've got to play well enough, but at the same time, you've got to have a little bit of fun with it as well. So a little bit of a, a mix for everybody. Oh yeah, come on. I want to get more kills this time. I can't remember what, how many kills I did get. I don't want to focus too much on the top, and as well trying to get myself hit. Uh, that was great. It was great. I would have liked to pick up more of those gems just then. Firing off a little bit can grab the not grab, but it can uh, take out these uh, these bigger gems that are just there. We'll just grab that. It's a turbo boost. I'm going to try and grab those turbo boosts more. Um, there's a power up I can grab, and I guess as the levels go up, where is it? As, yeah, as the levels go up, I assume then you can pick different things like a tractor beam, which I'm going to put into action in a moment, but obviously you can get things like the nuke, turbo and shield combination, a 4-in-1 bundle and the nuke and tractor. And each time you can obviously grab for free, so uh, you can watch an advert and that's good. Obviously it helps the developer out, running ads on that and as well at the same time it's um, it's free, free to play. So. Um, that's that's good. That's a good element to it. Like, right. So let's continue on then. Let's go for a. T okay, well, can I go right off the track? No, I can't. I was thinking. I could go. Oh, whoa! Okay, what was meant to? I don't know what was meant to happen there. Um, maybe I was meant to put on a boost or a tur. Well, not a tur, but a shield in order to get through that bit. Oh. Okay, that was that was a bad kind of like swipe away, but um, yeah, obviously. Adverts help out as much as possible with a developer. This is free to play. Check out the links in the description. So um, let's let's do this then. Let's let's try and actually hit something for once. Obviously, there you go. Uh, whilst you're kind of like on the plane, you you can pick up one of those ads. It doesn't have to be just in that little kind of like pit stop area. Uh, okay, so let's talk a quick little bit about a uh, game from a build standpoint. And it looks to be built uh, relatively well, especially from a mobile game's perspective. Now let's talk about the build side of things, build quality of the game, and as well other elements to it. Now, I do appreciate a lot of time and effort that goes in from indie developers to make games. People need to understand that the length of time, it's like, it's it's very difficult, because a lot of times you've got a very low amount of uh, people working on said game. And it could be even a case that one person is working on it. But there is some a lot of similarities with a game I used to play on the uh, N64. Now I'm trying to remember the name off the top of my head, but I want to say it was something that was like not Star Fox, but a um, it may have been like uh, Starfighter or something like that. It was around about the time of like Metroid and uh, and other games, and it was a game theoretically where you went through some sort of um, like racing simulation, and you had a fighter ship, like a star fighting ship, and you were able to uh, to kind of like shoot other enemies, kind of like the very early iterations of what would be like a Mario Kart, but obviously set in space. If I can remember it by the time this video ends, then that would be great. Uh, but um, I don't think I can really remem remember it that that much. Um, but I want to get to level 5 at least at some point because uh, this this does look like a very fun game. It is similar, but obviously it's in the palm of your hand. It's not on a console. It is uh, obviously in the palm of your hand, obviously firing away. Now it's up to you. There is a little bit of uh, a kind of incentive if you do want those adverts removed. And you can do that for the price of $2.99 or €3.49, obviously respecting where you are in the world. And obviously that is your option. There's things with like the uh, the kind of ability to restart levels, bringing down your music, turning off the vibration, and other stuff like that that you can obviously do. And that is in the pause screen as well, uh, the main menu which we're we're kind of looking at now, and especially in the options area. But in any case, the point really remains the same. This is a nice little pick up, put down kind of game, kind of a challenging type game at the same time. Uh, a little bit, uh, you know, it's got its own vibe to it. It's not a puzzle game like stuff like Candy Crush, but definitely from a mobile perspective. It has that kind of like fun type aspect that we see. It doesn't really matter what gender you are and where you are from being young or old. It's like it's a nice little fun game for you to pick up on your mobile and play, utilizing things like these boosts, like the tractor beams and things. Like, as you can see, I'm kind of drawing in 
um, except for obviously hitting there. But I was drawing in with the tractor beam uh, those um, those gems, which obviously maybe sorts out that problem I mentioned before. And as well, when it comes to using the nuke, just blasting everything, that can be really fun as well. But obviously, you can just point and shoot, as uh, most games are that are similar to this nature. So yeah, thank you very much to the developer for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out the game, check it out with the links in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.